Hey guys, welcome back to Mage's Library. Uh, as always, it's Alex. Thanks for spending your time with me today. Uh, I needed to continue doing some work, and the only thing I, I really felt like doing today was the uh, Onslaught block. Uh, I'm looking at doing Odyssey this weekend. I noticed when I was pulling orders that uh, my Odyssey was looking pretty scarce, so I'll be restocking that, and I'll be restocking... Uh, the invasion block. Uh, no, I didn't have some prophecy dream last night that we're going to be returning to tribal and I needed to get the legions block listed or anything to that effect. Um, I just need to be doing some work and this was really the only thing I had the heart to do today. Uh, War of the Spark is coming out pretty soon and uh, like I was saying, my, my Odyssey specifically was looking pretty scarce, so this weekend I'll tackle the uh, Invasion and Odyssey and Onslaught block. And I uh, I pulled Legions, um, found some Quicksilver, Quicksilvers here, um, just considering some pre-made decks that I could get made and get listed, um, get some eBay listings going. Um, I feel that this is going to be a difficult set to to move on eBay. It's not going to move as fast on, as on, as it would on TCG Player, and the reason being is that these cards obviously are not in modern, so um, there's going to be less incentive for a commander player to come and buy a complete playset. Um, Whereas a commander player could go to TCG player and just get the singles that they they he or she would want for their deck. So I wasn't really expecting to see anything too wild in the legions. I Willbender was always real cool to me. Um, I just thought the artwork depicted what it what the card did mechanically. I think I've worked on a, I think I got a, a zombie deck made the other day for this particular block and then I realized I uh, didn't have any corresponding basic lands and I went and checked out the prices on TCG Player and th those were actually pretty steep. Um, no one no one seems to have those old cards listed. Uh, so I don't know if I would want to get so here's Wall of Hope. Um, the walls seem to be real popular on TCG Player right now. Um, there's a cycle on the Tempest block that as soon as I stock them, it seems uh, no no matter what ridiculous price I put them in at, uh, that they'll, they'll move. Um, so the next time I go through Tempest, a, a box of Tempest block, um, I'll show you guys what I find in there. Um, again, at this point in the the stage of of going through my inventory um, this has already got got the once over so um, we're not going to see any of the fetch lands there's not going to be any wild foils it's just an opportunity to show you some of the um, other things that actually that I find move um, one of the strategies that I adapted in the beginning of working on eBay and TCG player was realizing that um, the big name online stores their buy list was indicative of what would actually sell quickly and so um, when you looked at the bottom line cost or um, cash return you would get from selling your items on eBay at those prices um, Typically, those big box stores, the the big name online retail stores, were pretty close to what you would get. So you, it was always a struggle for me, and it took me a long time to appreciate that I, I just needed to do it myself. Um, it wasn't unusual to to only clear fifteen cents and be like, well, you know, this this online store is going to get you twenty. Um, but again, you just you need to do it yourself. You get a little bit more money up front by completing the sell for purposes of cash flow. 
you need to build that feedback you need to build that customer base so if you are starting this out I, I completely understand the temptation um, and uh, and I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna tell you that I didn't do it myself because I did I I was there were plenty of times where I needed that cash to cover a, a large purchase or fund the next large purchase I wanted to make and quite a few of those online places got a big chunk of my cards that I had um, but your goal should always be to move away from that as quickly as possible and again just just do it yourself get, get yourself your own customers build your build your brand in a manner of speaking so start going through the scourge um, you'll notice I just I broke that down by rarity and color once I have the entire block broken down like that I'll go through and I'll start getting the listings made I'll get them organized uh, even though I run on TCG player and eBay I warehouse everything together so monitoring the numbers is very important not making uh, minor mistakes and as boring as it is every periodically um, if something looks like it's getting popular psychotic fear uh, fury from dissension was blowing up this weekend um, shelter from Odyssey was blowing up this weekend um, when I do my restock I'm gonna make sure that my numbers are accurate um, if you're working on TCG player and you're in the direct program you can you can uh, check your reimbursement invoice that's uh, occurring at that time so always keep that in mind that if you're gonna do an inventory check and you are on the TCG direct program you go to your box of cards and like oh wait a minute I have I'm doing an inventory check and I realize I have you know 13 rain of blades make sure that the TCG direct program didn't sell eight copies of this because then um, you technically only have five um, I did have at one point somebody working for me who would um, do some organization for me and he always liked to put the same card in a penny sleeve, 10 of them. So um, for this purpose, I'm just taking it out and I'll, I'll get the count later. And I also, uh, at one point when I had a personal collection, I put all of my cards, uh, four copies of them in a penny sleeve. And I found that um, for whatever reason, through all the various uh, secondhand collections I would purchase, uh, everyone had their own strategy. Some some packs would have you know 13 copies shoved in there, and <laughs> you felt like you couldn't even get it out of the the penny sleeve. Uh, so whatever works for whoever. Um, but that one I'm fairly confident came from the person who was working for me. Now I remember who was Blade Wing, Blade Wing the Risen. I really liked that dragon. I um, Divergent Growth, real popular common. Um, I when I uh, I started playing around the invasion block and so when Blade Bladewing the Risen came out the really cool deck that um, I ultimately ended up building was uh, when Odyssey came out I would play the um, it was new to me I know that there's an original printing but Buried Alive I really enjoyed um, burying three dragons and then playing Blade Ring, Blade Wing. Um, with Zombify or Reanimate. Um, I know that I eventually bought Reanimates and just getting to bring back two dragons. That was super cool. So, well, thanks for spending some time with me. Um, again, I'll let you see what's going on with those uh, three blocks that I mentioned. And if you see something that you like, it'll end up on eBay or TCG Player. So, see you guys soon. Thank you.